Hello everyone. I hope you had a safe and relaxing Memorial Day weekend. This was the first time in over a year where many of us felt comfortable enough to move around and interact with friends, family, and neighbors. This is the first week of MCPS high school graduations, and it's great that this year we can return to in-person graduations along with other activities. If you think back to where we were a year ago, and now we're finally re-emerging, it's really incredible. And of course, re-emerging along with us are the cicadas you hear in the background. Thanks to everyone's tremendous effort, over 58% of our total residents have received both doses of Pfizer, Moderna, or a single dose of Johnson & Johnson, according to CDC data. Very soon, 75% of adults over the age of 18 will have both doses, and 89% of our residents over 65 have received both doses. That is an amazing number. This program has enabled us to return to a safer way of life, but our fight to beat COVID is not over yet. We are making every effort to bring the vaccine to people, and so we are setting up clinics in churches, at schools, and other places where people are. We are partnering with the Soccerplex to set up a vaccination clinic there for this upcoming weekend. We are sending text messages and have volunteers in the streets talking to people about getting vaccinated. We even sponsored a video contest for students to encourage their peers to get vaccinated for cash prizes. These efforts are some of the things we're doing to help us turn the corner, and we can't stop now. We can't rest until every eligible person in this county is fully vaccinated. It is the only way we can win this fight in the long term, and with your help, I know we can do it. Part of our return to a more normal way of life is reopening of our libraries and senior centers. This week, six branches of the library will open to the public for the first time during the pandemic. I had the opportunity to stop by the Silver Spring branch yesterday, and it was great to see library patrons back in the building and utilizing library resources. On June 14th, we reopened the Holiday Park and Damascus Senior Centers. Since we are still fighting COVID, the Wheaton and White Oak Senior Centers will continue to be COVID-19 vaccination sites, and the Long Branch Senior Center will continue to serve as a full-time homeless shelter. And the Margaret Schweinhout and North Potomac Senior Centers will provide summer programming for hundreds of youth until the full reopening in August. As we reopen, we'll continue our focus on economic recovery. From business and nonprofit grants to food resources to rental relief payments, I'm proud of the work we have done to assist those in need, Montgomery County families, businesses, and workers. This week, the governor announced that Maryland will put in the early end to the enhanced federal unemployment benefits. This federal money has been an enormous help to many of our unemployed workers, including those who are in the gig economy who usually don't qualify for unemployment. I am very disappointed with this decision, especially because the American Rescue Plan provides funding for the benefits through September 6th. Many of our residents, by no fault of their own, lost their jobs and earnings to this pandemic. They still have families to feed and bills to pay. Additionally, these dollars do not cost the county or the state a penny, and they help our residents. I urge the governor to reconsider this decision and extend this benefit to Maryland workers and families that need the additional help as we reopen. We need more time for our economy to continue to recover, and we see glimpses of that happening in Montgomery County. Earlier this week, I visited Truebill, a company located in downtown Silver Spring. Truebill is a personal finance app company that relocated here from San Francisco to Silver Spring months prior to the pandemic with the assistance of financial incentives from both the county and the state. Truebill's founders are graduates of Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, and we were glad to welcome them back. I was at their offices early this week as their employees returned and I was able to congratulate Truebill for receiving 45 million new dollars of additional venture capital funding. With this new capital funding, Truebill can continue to grow and add jobs to our economy. Companies like Truebill are an example of the possibilities and opportunity we offer to growing companies here in Montgomery County. With our growing biotech industry, I'm confident that we will see more companies make this their home. As we pivot from COVID response to COVID recovery, my administration will remain focused on job growth and economic development. Last week, we concluded our phase three round of business grant applications and received 116 new applications, 95% of whom we think will be approved for $10,000 grants. Over 750 previous grant recipients from phases one and two 
should receive an additional $5,000 in grants. Thus far, we've provided over $80 million in business grants. We must continue to invest in our businesses as we recover and reopen. It is an important component of our recovery strategy as we create our new normal. We're also helping others in need. Residents who need assistance with rental assistance can go to our website or simply call 311 for more details. So far, we've provided $115 million in rental assistance, and we are providing another $100 million in assistance to individuals and families. Our FY22 budget that was approved last week adds $25 million to the Working Families Income Supplement. These funds supplement the state tax refund for low-income families. We're the only jurisdiction in the state that is providing this kind of additional help to our families in need. And I'm thankful for the County Council's partnership to make these funds available. As we begin June Pride Month, I look forward to this month's events that will honor the contributions made by the LGBTQ plus members of our Montgomery County community. Montgomery County is an inclusive community. We are proud to have welcomed and embraced our LGBTQ plus community long before many others in the country. There are Pride Month's events happening throughout the county this month, and I hope you'll be able to attend these events and support our LGBTQ plus community. As always, thank you for everything you've been doing. See you next week.